Hey guys, it's Scott. Good morning, happy Sunday. We are here getting ready for probably the longest live stream I have done to date. Hopefully the, the Wi-Fi, I didn't even think about that. Hopefully the Wi-Fi holds out. Uh, today, we ride the pretzel. Now, we had a big list of people who agreed to come to this ride. We'll see how many people show up. Uh, just getting ready here. <clears throat> All right, still got three minutes to go. That's I'm ready to go. Ready to go. <clears throat> let's see. Uh, let's see the list of suckers we got today. Elena, Greg, Todd, Marcy. Mickey, Arthur, Chris. I think we have a couple more. Maybe gonna leak in by, by the time we start. This is a very impressive showing for a three, potentially three and a half hour ride. I think we're gonna do this for closer to three hours. We did this once before, right around three and a half hours. Ron was with us that day, so uh, he was pretty much the strength in uh, pulling us along. So we'll see, we're gonna get some more. I know I already see we have some more, uh, some some good climbers here today, <clears throat> ready to pull some of us up these hills. I appreciate that, I just wanna let you guys know. And Al Glenn, speaking of which, Glenn joins us today. Uh, <clears throat> so let's talk about the pretzel, 45.7 miles. Uh, tough, it's tough, it's no joke. Now it starts off with a piece uh, a course that um, we've all done before and we all pretty much well I'm gonna I, I'll speak for myself uh, that I despise greatly <laughs> it's the epic KOM thank you Windows for this uh, it is the epic KOM followed by the radio tower climb which the radio tower is uh, one of my least favorite if not the least favorite climb <clears throat> in all of Zwift and uh, it's just real yeah yeah <laughs> how long um, yeah I have a Dell leave me alone Greg what do you want you weren't around when I was buying the computer Let's see. Anyway, um, where are we? So we're going to go up the radio tower. We will stop there for our first uh, five minute break, if not more, if people need. Remember the Dell dude? Yeah. What's wrong with the Dell dude? Um, oh, dude. I got gotcha. you. Uh, Led Zeppelin today for, for Kona Todd. It's a good choice. It's a good choice. I'm gonna. I have my uh, my wired air, uh, earphones here again. I make fun of myself every day because I don't have AirPods. Uh, I was gonna borrow my wife's, but then the thought of having someone borrow my <laughs> my earphones so that they could ride for three hours it just sounds gross. So I didn't even ask. I knew the answer before before I even asked. So sometimes it's best not to ask. I see Ron joining us here today. We got 20 seconds. This is gonna be a tough one. Anyway, we're going to go, so we're going to come down off of that radio tower and ride around Watopia for a little while. I don't know why I'm, I'm like starting to pedal early. Like I'm not going to be pedaling as much as possible over the next uh, three hours. But I thank everyone for coming here and, and giving us the effort for as long as you can. If you can make it all the way, that's awesome. If you make it part of the way, that's great too.
Everyone's here, everyone's moving. No, I'm not talking that much because, well, A, I'm typing. <clears throat> but B, I'm projecting my future suffering over the next few hours. Now listen here. Uh, now listen here. I'm about to make a proclamation. Um, it's a long day. It's a long day. Some of you seasoned guys, you know how much you can push. You've done a lot of rides like this. You know where you can stand. You know, maybe you can hold at 150 watts for three hours. A lot of you guys, I mean, Glenn does crazy rides like this all the time. In fact, this is a light one for Glenn. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. So, my recommendation for now, over the first hour, is to find a spot where you're comfortable yep and pull back just a tiny bit get those legs pumping three hours is a long long time I feel like I wanted to do something I know what I want to do I want to get rid of this drafting boost so as for today, I mean, this is like a broken record for me. I set the alarm for 8 o'clock, which I really shouldn't have to do. I mean, geez, I'm an adult. I should be able to wake up at 8 o'clock. But the alarm did ring, <laughs> and it got me up, along with my neighbor's uh, snowblower. We got about, I don't know, probably about 8 inches of snow yesterday. Not too bad compared to, like, Boston, which got over 2 feet. So I did shovel twice yesterday after our ride that quick ride that we did yesterday was about 20 minutes and then i went out and shoveled right after that and then i went out and shoveled again at night the double shovel is key because it makes it uh two easier workouts instead of one probably in aggregate it probably takes me less time to shovel it twice than it would have sho to shovel once I got, listen, I got three and a half hours, so we're going to talk about everything. <laughs> Alright, that's just the way it is. So I got that done. I got up at 8 o'clock this morning. Um, my breakfast for these rides has just been oatmeal and a, uh, a big coffee and a bottle of noon water. I know you guys love the scratch. The scratch is good too, man. I really liked it. I had to go out and get it. But I, I do like the ease of just popping open the thing and just throwing the pill in the water. So that's been working for me on these Sunday rides. And I went with it. It's been good, man. I just, uh, you know, you get into a routine. And that's really important. Especially when you do, you know, when you're getting yourself ready for, for races. 
We can. I'm not an expert on Garmin watches. I, I have like a 920, I think. Let me see. Might be different. Might be a wrong number. Hold on. Ah. Uh, oh, I can't see. Yeah, I can't see. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, 945. That, then I think I had a 935 before. Now I have a 945. I like it. It works. Haven't had any trouble with it. It's running out of batteries right now, actually. I don't think it's going to make it through this ride. But the battery usually lasts a week. Um, I don't use... My thing, Elena is I don't use all the features. I'm not like a super heavy, you know, data geek when it comes to this stuff. There are certain things that uh, that I use it for. I like, you know, I like seeing altitude. I do like seeing uh, my cadence, my run cadence when I run. Chris has a 945 too. Exactly. That's that's part of the problem too, Chris. I just don't really want to have, want to put the time in to learn everything. So I got the bib shorts on today. I'm doing good. Uh, let's see. For the ride today, I have three water bottles. One of them has the noon in it. I'll probably hit that one first because after that I got some food. I got a peanut butter and honey sandwich, which I'll start cracking into about a half an hour in. Otherwise, I'll start getting stale. It's literally just a sandwich sitting on the table, which is probably gross. It's probably getting all kinds of bacteria and stuff in it. But whatever, it's yummy. So we'll hit that first. And then I have a few... Uh, a few goo gels. I'll probably get to one or two of them. We'll see. I still have the birth cake, birthday cake that I haven't tried. Oh, my hell. <laughs> All right, let's wake up the legs a little here. Just a little. I know Ron's like just crushing off the front with Todd. Look at Elena here trying to run me off the road. What was that all about? My God. <laughs> up the hill, up the hill. I'm gonna crack a sweat here. Hey, we're nine minutes through, guys. I feel like we just started. I do have a couple of leftover trivia questions. I mean, it's not, it's just, that's it. You know, that's it. I'm tempted to take a bite. It's wheat bread, fry hoppers. I hate this. This is like one of this is another. You know what? I there's no there's no hill that is prefaced with the term with the phrase I like. Like this little island hill. I hate this little island. Hill. <laughs> I feel like I complain a lot. But here I am. We're doing it. We're doing it. So I do want to say I do want to apologize to Mike Romans and Joe Caniano, both of them couldn't make it today. Scheduling conflicts. That, <laughs> the Bridge Hill. What's the Bridge Hill, Chris? <sighs> I hate the Lutcher. I hate the Radio Tower. Oh, the bridge. Oh, I like that hill. Yes. 
I, I do. I like that hill. The Indiana Jones Bridge. Yes. I do like that bridge. And, and the subway for that matter. Although I, I reserve the right to change my mind on that when we do PRL full. Look how far back I am, man. Just chit chatty today. I went from the first five minutes not talking. You can't shut me up. I do. I'll tell you why, Greg. It's short and it's steep and uh, and I do it complete when I wear younger man's clothes. La da 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 da. Okay, that's Billy Joel. Um, no, it's short and steep and um, that's terrible. Yeah, it's like it can ch you know it can challenge you. It just hits you smack in the face. And it's over fairly quickly. So, and it's, that's kind of where, <laughs> that's kind of where I always uh, hit my, my one second um, watt, you know, watt uh, output records is on that hill. I just sprint right into it. And then it's like, boom, hill. <clears throat> and you just try to keep that cadence up as long as you can until your heart explodes. <sighs> or your knees, whichever one. I hear you. Well, Greg, you only ride like seven hours a day. Those ligaments wear down. Thank Ron. Pulling well, us up that hill. Yeah, I don't even think he is 40, Todd. Yeah, he is. He is. He's got to be. <laughs> <laughs> Come on guys, wait up. you're hydrating, Marcy said. I concur. 37. Wendy, Lisa, ride on. Thank you for the ride ons. By the way, my sense is that this will be the most watched live stream that we've put out so far. On these Sundays, we've been getting quite a few people watching the live stream, and this one just will be out there for a long time. Some people will probably catch it. Of course, most of them, most of them are, uh, are trolls and dropping comments to improper li links in the chat. Guys, I'll just be a sweeper, okay? <laughs> Way back here. Oh, and then the rubber band. It's like they listen. Oh, it's 
it's four minutes behind. Wow, that's a long time. It was on track before. I know Ron commented on something that was like right after. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. can we talk about? Up the hill, up the hill. Ugh. I'm running out of conversation at the 18 minute mark. <clears throat> uh. Yeah, my own, my own YouTube is usually 10 seconds. <laughs> exactly. I don't know what you're talking about, Greg. We don't know. I don't trust Google either. They're a monster. My favorite part of Google is that when they started, like, uh, their motto was, uh, it was, don't be evil. You remember that? I don't know if anyone remembers that. Google's, literally, their motto was, don't be evil. And like three or four years ago, they just were like, yeah, that's not our motto anymore. <laughs> and they took it away. <sighs> up the hill, up the hill. <laughs> well, they're telling you the truth. climb it's about what 40 minutes typically for us and then the radio tower if you're looking at the, the clock I think it's 40 minutes I don't really remember but I'm guessing exactly Greg I agree I actually I don't mind this portion of this climb when they keep the, uh, the angle kind of the elevation angle like a little bit reasonable but you know they hit you with this for like 40 minutes if not longer I know when I do it alone I'm way longer than that and then they put you on that radio tower 
It's like... It's torture upon torture. Hey, about five miles in. That's good. 487 feet of climbing. We're going to be well over 4,000 today. I hate to fill you in on that, but I'm sure you knew. Uh-oh, we lose someone. Ron. Ron will be back. <laughs> Is that what you're going to say? That's the way you're going to try to spin this, Greg. You know, I think the two things for me on this ride, I think the radio, the radio tower is always a challenge. It just always is. And then uh, we're going to do a whole lot of riding after this climb on the lower level of Watopia. I think the hilly loop is in this. Um, which when you climb something like this, the hilly loop is nothing. But in the moment it sucks. <laughs> And then uh, we come back and climb this from the opposite side, which is a little steeper. It's got a lot of switchbacks. <laughs> Ron is back. Knew he would be. Tabby's here. I didn't even know. I, you know, I'm sorry, Tabby. I didn't see you. You snuck in there without me seeing. I don't even think I said hello to Mickey today. I might have. I don't remember those things. It's the little details. I'm horrible at names. It's just the way it is. All right. I think, you know what? Let's see. Let's see if we can drum up some uh, some interest here. All you remember is the wall. That's it. That's true. That's all I'm thinking of. <laughs> full sleep? Not the full sleep. <laughs> your speech nah it doesn't work for me because then I how so I can just give you all the answers right <laughs>
For me to stop typing, I need to see the movie, not the actor, not the actress, not the character. But I will ask you that after. That's the big hint, by the way. You got it. I'm being like an, a jackass. I said specific movie! Specific movie! <laughs> Character and actor. It's nice to have Ron back in trivia, I gotta say. Give Greg a run for his money, even though Greg is not... Uh, he's not as strong on the movies as he is on the music. Strider, Vigo, you got it. I read Lord of the Rings in 8th uh, grade math class, Mr. Vassallo. That might have been 7th grade, 7th grade math, math class. He got pissed. <laughs> Big bird is Oscar the Grouch. Now you're being a wise ass, Tabby. This is, I mean, this is a layup. Making great progress. I gotta remember water. Water, water, water. That was the Joker. Actor? I just tried to write actor and it changed it to Scott. Yes, you got it.
All right. Guys, this next one is super long. Ron's going to get this in a heartbeat. You got it. Climb, 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 34 minutes. I'll tell you what it is. It's hard to sit in the aerial position for me for longer than 45 minutes. I know I do it on Thursdays, but I'm riding easy. I'm not going up hills. And these trivia questions, as much as I kind of like them, they take a long time, a long time to type out. Ah, I did not know that. I did not know that.
I didn't know that he was Elrond, wasn't he? Yeah. So when Steph and I uh, first started dating, what we did was we um, we created a list of all the movies that we liked and that we wanted to, uh, we insisted that the other ones see. And then we rifled through them in six months and now we have no more movies to watch. <laughs> but both of us had already seen Lord of the Rings. And thought it would be cool to just have Lord of the Rings Day. That's how sci-fi nerd geek we are. Yeah, I tell you, you know, every once in a while, like the sci-fi era comes up at the right time. And so like, uh, so like for example, Game of Thrones comes out and then that's like the thing for years. And now there's all these like, you know, like The Witcher, all these shows that are like, kind of, sort of like Game of Thrones and not really. But there's tons of them out there. It's not just The Witcher. Steph watches all of them. I can't, I, I, I can't do it. What do we watch? Uh, something of Time, Wheel of Time? And I despised it. I hated it. In the last few episodes, I suffered through. Which one? The Wheel of Time? I actually read that, Elena. I, when, I, when I grew up, science, science fiction was my thing. I was big into the, uh, the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings. It was terrible, Ron. It was like they just skipped to like season 8 of Game of Thrones. That's how bad it was. Terrible. But I've heard Outlander we like. Outlander we like. We can't wait for the next season. I'm really upset that it's taking so long. I know Chris likes Outlander too. I like that like sort of the con concept of weaving like actual history in with science fiction. It's really... It's kind of neat. <laughs> I knew Chris would be all over that. <laughs> March 6th. We got to see. I always I always thought that it would be kind of neat to do one of these rides and like all of us start an episode at the same exact time. So like as soon as the ride starts, you start the episode. And then we could all kind of like watch it and critique it at the same time while sweating. Dude, it is good, Ron. It is good. There are some things... There are some things about Outlander that bother me. And my hopes are that they tie it up at the end a little bit. I don't think that it will. But uh, I don't want to say anything if you... If you're on season two, because most of them I think are are after. So like the thing with um, Yellowstone, is anyone is anyone on season two? Is it season two of Yellowstone? I'm still angry about that. <laughs> no, I you know Breaking Bad. So can I tell you something? Breaking Bad was, I think, unique in that in the beginning, you were kind of like, you really kind of rooted for the guy. All right, so yellow, here's, here's my problem with Yellowstone, Ron. At the end of one of those seasons, the ones with the, when they were fighting against the brothers, 
who just kind of showed up out of nowhere. And uh, when they, so at the end of that season, they were trying to kill the brothers. And I'm sorry, and if you're not, if you're not, hold on a second. If you're not caught up to that part, I'm sorry, just hold your ears. But at the very end of that season, they're trying to kill the brothers and they snuck into the plane hangar and they dropped the bomb into the gas station, into the gas, into the gas, <laughs> into the gas tank, right? And they made a whole big thing of like, uh, how basically you couldn't get the bomb out, it's gonna explode. Then they kill the brothers some other way, but there's still a bomb in the plane. So like, what happened to the bomb in the plane? Nothing? Nothing happened. No one ever flew that plane again. It drives me mad. Absolutely insane. That we never heard about the bomb in the plane. And there were so many ways to tie it in. Like they did a whole scene where they snuck into the hangar and they dropped the bomb into the gas tank. And just rewind. <laughs> there was a whole scene. They snuck into the hangar, they found the, the private plane. It, I think it was Casey and somebody else with Casey. And then they kept looking at the sky. They kind of just were taking shots of the sky. And, uh, and then the brothers decided not to go on the plane that day. So they didn't get the bomb. But the bomb was still in the plane. Maybe I was drunk. I don't know. <laughs> it's not coming in next season. It's done. They've moved beyond that. I mean, it's not as bad as the last season of Game of Thrones. Nothing is that, but that's like uh, just one of the things that bothered me. Um, let's see, what else do we got here? I'm trying to think of what else bothers me. So, sorry, Todd. Um, oh, back to Breaking Bad. What I liked about it was that lead character, like you really kind of felt for him in the beginning and you kind of like were rooting for him and then at, over time, you could kind of sense his transformation but you still kind of were rooting for him and there was never kind of that disconnect. Like his transfer from high school teacher to angry drug dealer slash maniac was, happened like very slowly over time and he kind of went along with it. Like I felt like Dexter was too fast. Dexter went from like a, a meticulous killer to making a lot of mistakes and kind of being a little goofy, I thought. I don't know. And that last, the end of the last season was crap. But anyway, here I am judging. I will agree, Ron, I will agree. I could sit down and watch that beginning to end and be content. And there's not many... I watched the first season or two of Better Call Saul and I wanted to keep watching and I just didn't. That actor's great. He's a comedian. All right, 45 minutes in, I'm gonna take some of this sandwich before it gets stale. It's starting to get still already. Peanut butter honey. I'm trying to eat with my mouth open. There you go, Margie. You can watch me eat in real time. Sorry if I'm chewing loud. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we are getting close to the radio tower. I just want to take half this down now. <laughs> Just crushing it. 
trying to breathe through my nose, guys. Good job up this hill, everyone. I didn't even see what I got, I probably got experience, which is what I like. All right, got your little speed on this mini downhill. It's like, oh look, radio tower's not so bad. Radio tower's not so bad. Uh, what? What? Get some work in if you want to here, because we're going to take that break at the top. Just don't overdo it. There's nothing like getting back on the bike and having brick legs. Let's hear little footsteps upstairs. That's the three-year-old. I'm sure she's dying to go out and play in the snow. <laughs> in the garage? I hear you, man. Why don't you get on the treadmill? <laughs> Get on the treadmill. Just walk it out. You and Tabs go on the treadmill at the same time. <laughs> That's great. That reminds me of high school football and cold days. I used to practice and then take the helmet off and your head. Head would just steam. You can get another shirt, Ron. You're going to need three today, I think. <laughs> we are three eighths of the way done with our climbing, right, Gray? See my maths? That's 37.5%. <laughs> I hate this hill. I hate this hill. Keep pedaling. Yes, keep pedaling. Ron's got 4.0. Uh, just I say 4.0, he jacks up to 4.3 watts per kilogram. <sighs> yeah, it is 4,400, isn't it? It's not 4,000. I was going off of 4,000. Marcy missed Radio Tower. 
Great. This is the, like this right hand turn for me is like watching you guys go like if we're at 12% and you, we're going to go steeper. Like watching you guys, you guys look like three stories higher. Ah. Oh, you're on the way steep now, right? He's got that elevation thing going. He's riding in his room like this. Uh. It's okay, Greg. It all helps. Uh. Up to the top. Can't you write some new software, Greg? Aren't you a software engineer? <laughs> I know, I'm kidding, man. Ah, I hate the radio tower. I hate the radio tower. I should put some music on. This hell. Come on, baby. That's where you should be working, Greg. So remember the way down, they do keep you honest. You can't just set it and forget it. There's that one little kind of 14% grade hill that makes you pedal for a little bit on the way down. Wow. That's a place I could see you, man. That's like your, that's your wheelhouse right there. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Marcy. <sighs> Come on. Up the hill. Up the hill. I, guys, I gotta tell you, you guys have pushed 300 plus watts. I don't know how you do it. I really don't. Closer now, getting closer. Some of you guys in the front are already in the circle, technically speaking. For me, this is the hardest part. Oh, that second climb will be, that last climb, sorry, will be tough too. 
I did not enter. I got off of all the Zwift challenges, I think. I, I've always done a uh, tour to Zwift. Not this year, for whatever reason. Because we're doing this. <sighs> nice job, guys. Alright. Bring it up. Take a break. All right. Stop. Shh. Squeaky brakes. Stop. I was like stopped and then it rubber banded me right through. That's Greg. Start back up at 103. Oh, all right. All right, guys, excellent job on that first, first climb of the day. Now, we're gonna go descend. This next stretch will be way easier than that. Oh, now we have this one hour of, uh, of climbing on the legs. So keep those legs loose, I'm gonna hop off here for a second. But I'm good, I got everything I should. See, I should be all through one of, the, one of these water bottles and I'm like here, that's bad. That's called doing, two, doing trivia. And talking too much. I would love to finish this sandwich over the next four and a half minutes. And then we're gonna eye up. Wow, man. Glenn, you're a monster. To go right now. Finish the sandwich, finish the water, move on. We'll try to take a gel about 145 in. I'm planning. that sandwich huh still have plenty of time to spare <sighs> I'm sweating through too here Ron not as bad as you probably but pretty gross I didn't get a backup <laughs>
All right, guys, uh, a little over a minute to go before we start again. We'll make sure everyone is back. We got Ron in the back. Ron will clean up, make sure everyone's there. So this is kind of the way we work this is everyone just start pedaling at 103 and then if we notice that some, that one person isn't isn't going that they're not back yet we'll just kind of wait. It might be hard to do here since as soon as we start riding There we go again. As soon as we start riding, we're going to be going downhill. Let's check out everybody's watts per kilogram. Just looking to see any number. Tabby and Ron. Tabby and Ron. At least they're in the same garage. They're probably still on the treadmill. Didn't Ron just say you say something? All right, hold up. Oh, oh there's Tabby. OK. I like that, and I never really worry about Ron. All right, and down the hill we go. Again, this one's up to you guys. I'll give the lesson again. Down the hill at minus point or minus four percent or greater, you will move faster. You will very likely move faster if you do not pedal. However, when you stop pedaling, you disengage from the group dynamic, and you will escape off of the front. So you will not be in the keep everyone together mode. As the, who was that? Is that Ron? Tabby. Tabby's right up the front. Tabby's not having any of this pedaling. Um, looks like Todd is the same way. And that's fine. You guys do what you want to do. I kind of like to at least keep a minimum. A minimum sort of cadence. A minimum sort of output here. A, to keep everyone together. And B, because it destroys my average watts and I feel like I'm not doing any work and I feel like I want to do some work. In real life, I do not pedal on downhills. Wow, Greg, that's a recipe. <laughs> Up this little, this is the little fun part that you, when you make the left, you're like, oh, yay, radio tower. Down the hill. And then it's like a baseball bat hits you in the head. All right, let's eat into some of these miles on this downhill. Remember, there's going to be one point on here. That's another problem, is if you don't pedal and you go up the front, and you can see it on the map a little bit, there's one point where it kind of bounces back up. There's a little 14% grade there that will force you to do a little bit of work so that you cannot coast all the way down the hill. Theoretically, you just get up off the bike and walk away climb the radio tower and then get all those points on the way down but uh that 14 percent grade will keep you honest tabby's now booking a 45 46 second lead off the front
In the past, we've lost people off the front of some rides. I say this every time. Ron's just flying right by me. Tabby just crushing it off the front at, one, at over a minute lead now. You can see her though, she's hitting that She's hitting that spot where she's gonna have to do some work. You see, she just kicked in. There you go. And now she's by herself. She's gotta get over that little lump. And look, did she just get over it? She's done? Wow, not so bad. Not so bad. Marcy flying by. This here's the lump, I believe. This is some group, man. Guys, I give it to you for showing up today, knowing that we got this monster in front of us. <sighs> Trying to get my 250 pound butt up this hill. And there we go. A little rubber band action at the end there. Oh, speaking of, it's time for a little music interlude. All right. Wow, I never saw that. You see that? That's, uh, you can see the whole map. You see that? That's kind of cool. That little uh, dome-ish thing at the end of uh, Tempest Fusion. Workout mix. This helps. I don't know why I didn't start start this earlier. Megan. Uh. That's really cool to see it from up here. I don't know if I've ever really noticed all that. We'll be on that bridge in a little bit. <sighs> Tabby is off the way off the front, huh? I'm guessing. She's like even off the list. <laughs> I 
All right, so I remember last time thinking I would come down here and just kind of loop around and go right back up. But we're going to be down on this lower level for quite a bit. We go through the S's, I think. We go up the, uh, the hilly route in reverse, do a little bit of a loop, and then come back on the hilly route. It's a little circuitous. <laughs> I agree with that part. You guys are awesome. Uh, even though Tabby just rode off the front and left us all in the dust. Go across this bridge and then we'll go down another island, I think. Go down the island. This is not the island I hate. This is another island I hate. Very similar to the one on the other side. But we are going to get close to the bottom here. Finish that one. One down, two to go. We probably need to catch up a little bit on my hydration. Do we catch up to Tabby yet? Where's Tabby? We lost Kona Todd too off the front. Got some L Cool J. Let's see to this 31 miles we have remaining. Probably got about 15 to 20 <coughs> miles on this lower level. Then we got to go back up from the way we came. No radio tower on the way back. And once we kind of hit that peak <coughs> of that climb, we get a nice downhill, but I will warn you <coughs> that there are like four or five miles at the end of this thing where you just feel like you're done and they just take, you feel like you're done because the climbing is done. And those last like four or five miles are like, you just feel like you're done, but there's still work to do. So I will just, uh, and that's kind of where <clears throat> where you gotta test yourself and the brain and stay on the bike through the pain. You've already climbed 4,400 feet by then. It's just about figuring it out. This is true, Chris. Last time we did this, we started at 9 p.m. and took it through midnight. That was great. That was that was epic. That was epic. <laughs> I think we started with like five or six people that day. It had to be at least six, right? Maybe it was seven. Who did we lose? 
Romans had to go. And then Arsh. Arsh was with us. I've heard from Arsh, by the way. Arsh, uh, Arsh said that if, uh, if this ride was yesterday, he would have showed. He started at 8.30? I know we finished after midnight. Oh, maybe we, is that what it is? 8.30, let me do the math. Yeah, a little after midnight, right? Because it's three and a half. I felt like we were well over midnight though, and not just a couple minutes, but whatever. I remember going upstairs, Steph was asleep. We still haven't caught up to Tabby, by the way. It was midnight your time, huh? <laughs> All right, this group, I'm like, Ron doesn't go look at his sleep recovery stats. Some Rachel Patton going. Fight song. I don't care. I'm mad enough to admit it. It works for me. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. <laughs> there you go, Greg. Thank you, Ron. Now we're all feeling better about this, right? We can all keep our man card. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I, I take that one too. You're right. You're right, man. <laughs> it was nothing like my first uh, New York City Marathon playlist. I was eyeing up about five hours. So I, and I, I was never really a big downloader of music, so I didn't have a lot on, and now I have tons, but I didn't have a lot on my, uh, on my phone. But I was rocking some new edition on that sucker. That's how low it got. <laughs> I will defend New Edition though. I like it. <laughs> All right, 121 into this ride. Good strides into this thing. Up this hill, through the tire. <sighs> Gonna make a right, well, just the road turns right. I believe that when this route came out, it was the longest on Zwift at the time. 
a little Zwift history for you. We know what you mean, I think. Yeah, get up this thing, come on. <laughs> I do like that. I like that song, Marcy. I didn't see it. We'll come up with something. I mean, in the same vein as like everyone watching the same movie, we could make a, a mix, especially for like a short ride. Just make a mix that everyone listens to and starts at the same time. Tabby back in the group finally. Todd back as well. It's nice to see the big the big list on the right. Still intact by the way. I don't think anyone's dropped. More than halfway done with the climbing now, Greg. I think we are. It's 4,400 feet, something like that. Of course, Zwift Insider is always wrong. I'll tell you what Zwift Insider says. I think I have it up still. Here you go. 4,373 feet. So we are beyond halfway. <laughs> Sorry, Marcy. That's a machine head. Great song. I'm giving you, I got you guys ideas for your for your playlist. I'll spit them out as they come. I don't even know what that last one was. It was good though. I can't even look it up because I uh, I'm doing random.
Breathe in, breathe out. That's great advice right about now. I should do a trivia with only songs from my playlist. got to get rid of that sucker. I try to keep that clean, try to keep it clear. Just in case the next one is some experience points. Because I like playing the game. And I'm starting to, I mean it's been a long time. Eating into this level 45. But I am. I am getting uh, a little bit excited at getting close to 45 here. It's like uh, starting to taste it a little bit. About 75% of the way there. It's taking a long time to get there. I got to 44 like week one of this of this challenge. And this is ride 52 or 53? 52? 53? I don't remember. 53, I think. Alright. That was one of the little climbs that we're going to be doing while down here. Tabby's so still way out front. Way out front. I'm looking at the map. You wouldn't believe the map. And Todd's just entering the S's. Tabby's already out of the S's. And we're not even close to the S's. That's the advantage of uh, that would be a great accomplishment, Marcy. I was kind of hoping to hit 50 at the end of this challenge, but that ain't gonna happen. And we have some nasty rides ahead of us too. I should get the schedule. Let's take a look at the schedule. I got another little, uh, get rid of that. Air on boost. You see the S's here on the map. Next week is Ventop. So that's probably like a two to two and a half hour climb. Depends on who shows up. The week after Ventop is Mega Pretzel, which is this plus more. Bigfoot Hills after that. I already did Bigfoot Hills, so it can't be that hard. But I think I went with a big group that day. And then four horsemen after that. Followed by PRL half, Uber pretzel, 
Quatch Quest. And then PRL Full. So these weekends coming up, guys, are going to be tougher and tougher. in guys Imagine Dragons, Demons, that's what's on. moved off the uh, off the Imagine Dragons. I just caught the end of that one. And now we're on um, Lincoln Park. Did we lose Tabby? She's done. Uh, I did not see Tabby's coming. She's still on the map. I gotta tell you, seeing that, seeing that the lead that Tabby got and Todd still has, I might be a buyer of this coast down the hill thing. Are we leaving too much on the table, doing too much work? Experience points there, I'll take them. Every little bit I can get. That was a little bit, 10.
over to the waterfall. Then we're gonna go through that little tunnel, come back and do a little, a little climb before you head back out to the mountain. I remember the first time doing this, thinking that we were going to come off the mountain, do just like a little circle down here, and then head right back up. But the time we spend down here is a little more significant than you'd think. So our second stop, let's call it now. Let us, we'll get to the point, you know that little island right before the mountain, the one that I hate. So finish the island climb and then we'll stop on the bridge, all right? I'll write that for you guys that don't have the, <clears throat> Uh-oh, we lost Ron, huh? Everything's all right. Ron, uh, I know Ron doesn't like to leave these things, so that's all right. I have an inner inner battle. of being concerned for whatever Ron stopped for and being concerned for the climbing we'll now have to make up <laughs> oh we actually have to do work it's all good that last gel but I think I'm gonna wait till the break it's not imminent by the way I'm trying to keep an eye on the map to watch Todd Elena are you all right do we lose Elena off the back here a little
Okay. We do have a one, one little hill. Actually, is this it? This could no, this can't be it. This makes it feel like we're ready to hit that hill and go back to the mountain, but we're not going to. We're going to make a left. We're going to go through some tunnels. Hey, we are more than halfway done now, guys, with the mileage, and significantly through the elevation, especially having no radio tower to deal with on the way back. But I will tell you this, that climb on the way back is not as easy as the, the one on the way in. The one that we already did is a little bit flatter. This one's a little steeper than that. It's not awful. But at the end of a ride like this, it kind of sucks. I agree, Marcy. We got this. We're good. We're in a good spot right now. More than halfway done. My quads are starting to ache, which is good because they used to start to ache around the one hour spot, and now I'm extending that. <laughs> That's exactly right. The Gambit's one of the new ones, right? Yeah, we're going to have to debate on whether or not we're going to have to do those newer courses that they added after we started this challenge. some old school white lion little fighter I think I've mentioned this one before on previous rides same mix I gotta add some new tunes to this sucker the shoulders I tell you, I am psyched that we are about to get, well not about, but in an hour or so, 
maybe a little longer, we're gonna get Marcy a badge that she does not have. Can't imagine there are many of those. That is an honor. Looks like we lost Todd off the front again. Let's see where he is. Yeah, he's way up there. I'm getting quiet here, huh? Getting that work done. I just like my brain went somewhere else for a, <laughs> about five minutes. Twenty miles to go. All right, so I think this is, is this the reapproaching this climb here? This the little bridge? No, not yet. No, not yet. Uh, yes, it is, this is the climb. This climb sucks though. <laughs> I know I say that for everyone. This one does suck. It has some elements of suckage. Ugh. Especially when you turn this corner.
Okay, I won't ask. You gotta be closing, closing in on, what, 650? 675? Six sixty six, that's what it is. I once got that as a bib number. How awful is that? <laughs> Todd is just well off the front now. As we climb, eating into this elevation. <laughs> All right, got up that one. Twenty seven hundred feet climb. Use my arrow boots right off the bat. Elena, I see you back there. I know you're going to struggle up that hill by yourself. I'm sorry. Use those, use those power-ups. Actually, you can see Elena on the map there, right? So more than halfway up that hill. She's doing awesome. Ron's all good, just so you guys know. He's actually asking Romans what time he's riding later today. So he's hurry, 
already thinking about making up the ride today after doing most of it. Trying to keep my eye on Todd here. Make sure he stops at our stop. Good job, Elena. Way to get up. You're almost there. So if you look on the map, you can see a little orange dot that is Todd. He's approaching the island. We'll make him climb it by himself. Stop on the bridge and wait for us. We're getting close though. I hope he can see that. He might not even be able to see that. Let me make sure. Alright, I sent him a message. I'm gonna try the birthday cake. Why not? I was gonna wait till till the break. I don't want. Ah. 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 It tastes like birthday cake. Almost done with water bottle two. Uh. Back on target with the hydration at least. It was pretty gross, Chris. You know, it 
it wasn't so much the flavor as it was like the, the jelly sugary <laughs> I would bet probably we all do Greg Skillet Hero, that's my song right now. Good song. That was just the end. Now I got Foo Fighters Run. Which is something I don't do. That I need to do. Todd is on the island. We'll see if he got the message to stop on the bridge or not. Mountains in the background are looming. Todd is back on the map. I don't think he heard me. Or he just didn't want to stop. He's on the bridge now. He just crossed it. But he's still going. I hate this hill and I feel really bad. Elena's gonna have to climb this on her own.
30 miles in. Two thirds of the mileage down, guys. Coming up on a break. And then we knock this sucker out. Uh, I know. We'll see how you do. Just keep doing work, Elena. A high level of activity today increased my, oh, I missed it. Increased my re recovery time every weekend. The 9.45 reminds me how dumb this is. Uh. All right, there is the bridge. Get to the bridge, get to the bridge. There it is. All right, guys, great job so far. Excellent job so far. I tell you, man, this is not an easy course. This is not an easy route to do. And you guys have banged out about two thirds of it already, right? So we got a third left and this climb is gonna suck. It sucked the last time, but I gotta tell you, I, I feel better facing it this time than I did last time. Um, hope you guys are feeling good too. One last push up this mountain. One last push and we got it. So let's kind of chill out here. Hopefully get Elena back in here in the next few minutes and give her a couple minutes to try, try to uh, take a little breather. Whew. All right. You guys, you know what, Tabby and Ron, man, you guys were like halfway done. If that was a kid thing, if that was a kid thing that destroyed, I would kill that kid. <laughs> I would just kill that kid. 
<laughs> all right, don't kill the kid, all right? Because I still need you for some more rides. I think the judge might be lenient if you just explain that you were halfway through and you had to go do take care of kid things and then you murder the kid. Like, I think the judge might understand, especially if he rides on Zwift. You know, you need a jury of your peers, right? So just make sure you tell them, look, my peers are on Zwift. You know, this panel doesn't represent me unless they ride Zwift. <laughs> okay. All right, so we got five minutes here. Need it right. Zwift judge, Zwift panel, Zwift jury. I don't even see, you know, Zwift attorneys. I don't even see that thing going to going to court. I won't even make it pass. Ah, all right. I just like getting off the bike, keeping the legs nice and loose. I'm not going anywhere. I don't want to walk anywhere with my bike shoes. I don't want to take them off. I'll tighten them up. Uh, if I can reach my feet at this point. Uh, one more climb, guys. One more climb. Come on, Elena. I'm cheering for Elena here. I tell you what, we are talking about, sometimes we talk about like mental toughness and sticking with it. I mean, I think we would have waited for her if she had asked. And really, I should have just told us to wait. But we had some people off the front and we had people off the back. So, but mental toughness to just keep going. And when you got no help up these hills. This is great stuff, Elena. I hope you get at least two minutes to kind of chill. Let's see if I can see her on the map. She is getting close. Got this last last left hand turn here. Toughness. <laughs> I don't know how is it the T is next to the R, all right? I don't know, whatever. That's awesome. Probably see us waiting for you here. Take a couple minutes. If you need more, let me know. I want to see I want to see her dot come on that top right screen. She's right there. There she is, there she is. Awesome job. All right, we'll start at 222, all right? 222 start. I know it's a little extra, it's a little extra. That's awesome, that's awesome. Dead. <laughs> ah.
I don't know where Todd is. Todd just kind of went off. He went off the grid. Todd went off the grid. I, I probably he's climbing. He's almost at the top of the climb. Nah, he's still he's still working. He's about halfway up, maybe two thirds of the way up. Oh, you can see him on the map there, right? He's just hitting that little. Uh, he's well, he's gonna see a, a downhill. That's a little area where when you come down, you have to do a little work. All right, 222. We're going to start at 2. All right. Ugh. I tell I, I tell you guys you guys think I'm just like cheering on cheering people on, but I feel I feel I feel the stress that causes when you're behind. And not only when you're behind, but you can't keep up because you're not attached. I mean, I'm always on the back. And so you're not attached and you're losing ground. And sometimes you, sometimes you just think it'd be uh, easier to just turn off the, the old PC, you know? Hit the old reset button. But she didn't. She didn't. It's impressive. I'm just impressed. Make sure everyone is moving. Greggy, where's Greggy? Greggy, there you go. All right, we are all up and moving. All right, trying to get those legs back started might be a little bit of a challenge, but hopefully we can get into a little bit of a groove here just before we hit the, uh, it's coming back quickly, it just took a little while. Just before we get to this here, this here climb. One more water bottle to go. Come on legs. Yeah, no, it's taking a little while to get these things moving. <laughs> My hope was kind of like that, that last gel that I had the birthday cake, painful birthday cake shot. was gonna kind of kick in now but it's not but that's okay less than 15 miles to go one little hill here little hill let's do some work one is tough, not gonna lie. It ain't the radio tower steepness, but it's steep. It's a little steeper than what we had coming up. 
on the epic side. But we got this. Just keep moving. Greg and Arthur and Glenn up front, Mickey. It's like we, we went through the timer, I guess. They started the timer on the Epic KOM. Then we took a break for eight minutes and Now don't get stuck looking at the miles here because they're going to go by really slow. Just keep looking at the turns. See how far we get and how much we got left to go. If you want, you can check out the map. And you see we're already a third of the way up here. That's, that counts the island, I think, but still. There's a good shot of the map and all the switchbacks we got. <laughs> all right, let me see if I got one for you. I'll see. Marcy, that's not a good one. Ah, oh, here's a good one. I don't even know if that has amino acids. Quinoa, all right, I like it.
Is it? Come on, Skylar has to be a big clue. Definitely get this. Undefeated, obviously. We actually talked about it a lot. Definitely worth binging, Mr. Greg. Uh, how are we doing on this hill now? I got a chance to kind of look away. You know who he is? What's that song? You're not the boss of me now. 
What's that? What's that show? He was the dad in that show. Not Wonder Years. It's something like that, though. What's the? What's that show? And make me look it up. I'm gonna have to lead up. Malcolm in the middle, boom. Yes. <laughs> that was a great show. I think I think his background doing that and kind of being like the goofy dad really kind of lended into the Breaking Bad the first few first couple seasons. They might be giants. Was he in that? I don't remember to be honest. I pulled up the IMDb though. Let's see what else he did. It says Breaking Bad, Malcolm in the Middle, Argo, Isle of Dogs, Your Honor, The Stand. <coughs> What's this? I don't even know. Thirteen point four miles to go, making great work up this hill, guys. Like I said, we're gonna crest this, and then we'll be able to coast down for a couple miles, and then we're gonna have like five or six miles to go, and that's gonna sneak up on you a little bit because you're gonna feel like you're done. But it ain't over yet. So stay mentally engaged. And hopefully those miles fly by. Todd's got to be going down the other side by now, I think. <sighs> we are definitely not done until you see the route badge. It will be there. We will get you to that finish. on this little tiny downhill reprieve we're going to get about five seconds and climb it up the last bit looks like we're about 60 percent done 70 65 i'm going to go with 65 60 66.8 <laughs> Come on. That a boy, right?
How much climbing was that again? Monday or Tuesday. Whew. I mean, this right here, that's not even, we're not, we won't even be 25% of the way to that. Six hundred feet of elevation. Here's a little. Here's our little reprieve right here. I am taking the full break at the moment. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get too far, even if they put me into arrow here. And that's it. That's all the break. Now let's finish off this last little knob. There, you can actually in that very top right of the graph. I believe that that is the entrance to the radio tower, which we will pass. But that is kind of marking the top, close to the top, so we can see it. It's on the map. Great job here guys, come on. You can see that dot, We're about 80% of the way up here.
Took you 415, huh? Yeah, I think we're gonna be about 315 today. Maybe 320. We still gotta climb this last bit, but then we get the downhill. That's gonna move us along nicely. You guys up front, man, doing the, doing the tough work. Awesome job, thank you. Squeak. Uh, my squeak is dr dramatically lowered since I moved my uh, trainer difficulty level. Very happy about that. I don't shift as much. I mean, it's probably not so good for my gears. Uh oh, Elena. Elena. All right, you're still there. Come on, stay in it. Stay in it. Come on, Elena. We're so close. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, we got Elena back. <laughs> you can see this straightaway here, guys. We're on this little straightaway. There's a little, little bump here. We're getting so close. That right there is the road to the radio tower. We have made excellent work up this hill, given the fact that we started with like a 15 minute, well, 10 minute disadvantage. Come on, baby. <laughs> yeah, we're not going right. Don't worry, we're not going right into the uh, radio. And soon you're going to see that archway too. be honest I thought we were closer <laughs> it says we got about five minutes to go here let's suck it up get up this hill
hanging on to 190 watts here for me is really tough. Looks like we're about to get a little steep here too. Oh, this is wonderful, Marcy. I'm having so much fun. We can still do it. This is a W. Two and a half minutes. Imagine if it took us right up to the radio tower. This isn't sweat coming down my face, it's teardrops. Uh. This could be the top. This could be. There is Radio Tower Road to the right. Us going straight. I love you guys. We still have some miles to go. At least most of them are downhill. All right. And again, if you want to be almost done with this course quickly, you can just stop pedaling and you'll be down at the bottom very quickly like Todd. Or just pedal lightly. That's kind of my thing. Pedal easy. Keep some tension. John Farrow, ride on. Miss John today. He's been with us in some of these rides. Uh, no hands, guys. No hands. Used to be able to do that when I'm a kid. Now I'm an adult. I have absolutely no desire to do that. One of these other courses. I forget which one, but it does come up the backside there and go up Radio Tower. And the only reason I remember is I remember doing it with somebody and she like, she worked her butt off all the way up to the top. And then, uh, and then they made us go right and she wanted that, that reverse epic K, uh, K, KOM. She had just done it like a week before, so she wanted to beat it. And she got right there, and then they, they make you go right up the radio tower. So you don't even get a time. I mean, I don't know where we're going to bang out another 300 feet of climbing on this route, to be honest. I mean, maybe we are. Maybe we got a few little, uh... I know, yeah, we do have a little bump, a couple bumps right around here, I think. In the seven, I didn't even know about, what is a seven percent, eight percent thing? Stop it, just stop it. Just stop it with this, what is this? I'll tell you what this is, it's an opportunity to use my feather. I smell so bad right now. Ugh. Glad that the smell doesn't go through the live stream. Ugh. Yeah. Well, 
whoever put this little hill here, I never come up this way, so I don't know, so don't blame me. downhill. Uh, this sucks, man. <laughs> this hill sucks. How many times have I said that sentence today? Mm. I forgot all about this, Chris. I don't remember this. Alright, we're getting to the top here. I hope. Looks like we might hit one little, another little one. Short bit. <sighs> Bent top, at least you know what you're getting into. You're climbing all the way. All right, 4,200 now. A little over 200 more feet to climb. There you go, 250. So saith the Zwift insider. <laughs> I tell you, I, I invited, I think, Probably you guys all should have gotten invites to the club, the Team Ordinary Club. We're going to be using that eventually, but for right now, it looks like it doesn't really have the functionality that we need for our rides. It doesn't have uh, keep everyone together. Um, it doesn't have it so that we can just have us in this work in the world. There's other riders, so. kind of a pain in the ass and it defeats the purpose of what, what I wanted to use it for but um, it is what it is we'll keep using we will use it in uh, in April so hang with me on that because you can only be in three clubs at once but in April I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a uh, We'll start like a racing series, which we tried to do last year, and I just stopped doing it. Which is probably going to be once a month we'll do a race. And we'll do the same course all the time. Uh, Sand and Sequoias is one we had picked out that we love, but I'm open to suggestions. Yeah, I know, I know. It kind of sucks. I guess they want it to be sort of more exclusive and all the clubs can only have a hundred people in them. So it ain't gonna hurt my feelings if you're not in my club. I'm just trying to figure out how to use it. And I was in like two clubs and during the beta and I didn't use them at all. Those guys never invited me to rise, at least I didn't see them. I don't think they just they just didn't have rides. It was just a little chat room that no one ever really ever really used. We're getting there, Mars. Uh, is that the first time I ever called you Mars? Too tired to add the last IE. Here we go. Uh, come on, baby. Downhill, downhill. Three hours, guys. Three hours of riding.
All right, let's get some of these miles in. We're now under 10 miles to go. And with this downhill, we're gonna eat into probably about three miles, I would guess, before we hit the bottom. And like I said, <laughs> like I said, once we hit that bottom, don't sleep on it. There's gonna be miles to go. It's not like it's right there. This is my pattern on the on the downhills here. You can see all the all the shark fins, shark fin, shark fin, shark fin. There's a new one, shark fin. That's me on the downhill. I try to pedal through it, and then I just for a second I talk myself into not pedaling. Just stop pedaling for a while, and then start again. And then I get the shark fin pattern. Now that I mention it, now I'm going to try not to do it, but I'm going to do it. Come on. Anyone's butt hurt? It took me a while, but it's really starting to hurt now. <laughs> Pretzels. I tell you what, man, I would love one of those right now. I had some leftover chicken fajitas upstairs, but <laughs> I am not sure if they still exist or if the others have used it for lunch already. Well, the good news, by the way, Sidon didn't show up today too. So, hey, Ron, I don't know if Ron's listening. Oh, you know what? Sidon's running today. That's right. brains get mixed up. He's running a half act marathon. He's probably done already. All right. Okay, guys. Yeah, he's doing a half marathon. I forgot. For whatever reason, he just came to mind today. He's doing a lot of running, man. That guy's going to do really well in Chattanooga. Through the little village. You know, a little more down here, a little to go here. See what I said? Hit about five, six miles to go, six miles by the time we hit the bottom. Oh, good. He's probably done.
<laughs> not Kona Todd. It's Todd Sai and Todd Kona Todd is done. He's been through this already. He's finished. Guaranteed. He must have had to go or something. He just didn't want to wait. Over the bridge and then down that little island hill. And then hitting the finish, guys. <laughs> that could be. Uh, come on, baby. Does anyone know how much further Mega Pretzel is? They add to it. Uh, that was it, deadline. Sixty-six. Oh, we got too much more climbing there, right? Twenty extra miles. What do you think? They probably send us down like Tempest Fugit, and up the maybe up the uh, the Dinosaur Park climb, something like that. I don't know. I'm guessing. Wild guesses. I just hope they don't send us up Alpha Zwift. Longest live stream of all time, guys. I don't even know how I'm still talking. Five and a half miles. See what I mean? I'm like winding down and we're not even close. Got another 20 minutes of riding. <sighs> volcano to Italian vision. Oh, the volcano, huh? Jungle reverse. Oof. Epic KOM reverse. Hilly forward, volcano climb, Ugh. titans, wow, okay, damn, well, we'll have to do a lot of, a lot of rest breaks on that day, prepare for a lot of rest breaks, like maybe a 24 hour rest break. Hey, no radio tower. That is perhaps the greatest thing I've heard all day. Uh, sorry. No Alp, no radio tower. You guys want to just knock that out tomorrow? Maybe right after this. <laughs> we'll just do another. I like Marcy's theory. That's a great approach. Just keep pedaling. All right, we're gonna loop this around now over to that starting area, I believe. I don't know exactly how we're gonna get there. Hopefully not too hilly. Uh, I'll go check out the map. I don't want to hear who Uber. <laughs> Where are we on the map? Here we are. Oh, 
I'll take an Uber, yes. That's a good idea. And the Four Horsemen is just as bad uh, as Uber. Uh. Oh god, he'll even to Epic. To Radio Tower. Boo to Zwift. KOM. Okay. Volcano KOM. That's I don't know if that's the climb or not. To Jungle Loop. Fuego Flats we like. To Zwift KOM. To Fuego Flats. A lot of Fuego Flats. To Alp. Oh no. I almost missed that last one. That's like basically like you got to do this. Then a little extra to get to Mega. And then you got to do Fuego Flats a few times. And then Alp. KOM is the climb, okay. All right, guys, we're gonna have some work to do, but hopefully rides like this one today will prep us for the rides of tomorrow. I feel like I'm a ride at Epcot Center. Now is the time, now is the best time, now is the best time of your life. Is that how it goes? Having flashback memories when I was 13 and went to Epcot. The only reason ever to go to Epcot is to do the big loop of all the different cultures and try to have a beer at every stop. I tried. I didn't make it. I got rushed. I think people are getting sick of me. <laughs> that would have been fun. That would have been mentally less challenging. Although, the chances of getting injured or quitting on the first one would have been much greater. Guys, four, four miles to go, I told you. This last bit, you feel like you're done because you've hit all the major climbing. And then you still have four miles to go. Uh, check my map. Why didn't go that way? I'm not sure exactly how this finishes up over here. That's all me though. Oh, by the way, Wednesday night, 6 p.m., USA Triathlon ride. And then we got a difficult, a difficult ride after that too. I'm debating on doing both. I know, I'm trying, Marcy. I'm not pedaling. I'm not pedaling as much as I should be. Shark fins all over that bottom row. There will be a badge, Marcy. These stupid boards slowing us down to 12 miles an hour. Urgh. Just give me a road. What's some pavement? done with my water. Hydration is gone. I can tell I just talking there. My mouth is all gross. 
needs better hydration for the longer rides. <laughs> Maybe I just load them all up with noon instead. I'm probably due for another gel right now too, but I am doing it at this point. Especially since they're gross. I do have a chocolate outrage there though. Let's talk calories burned today. Figure we got another 10 to 15 minutes here, three and a half hours. We rested about 15 minutes. An all out effort for me in an hour, usually 600 calories. I definitely was an all out effort. I was probably between 450 and 500. So I'm thinking 15 to 1600, which means I can eat a little. I'm gonna go eat. Looking forward to the eating. Uh, bacon. <laughs> Through these loops here. I don't know if we're going right to the finish after that. I think we gotta do some roundabout way to get these three miles in. Be a little uphill too. This is where we get our last bit of uphill. Less than three to go. Starting to get a little back pain. Things are falling apart. Getting old. Around, around, around we go. There's a little bit of elevation here. We get to like four or five percent. Just briefly. Two and a half miles. Let's see where it takes us now. Maybe over to the volcano. There's a waterfall here, I think. Then we're gonna either go left or right. I think we're gonna go left. I feel like right is too far. Let's see. Left is over to the volcano. We might go right. Yeah, we're going right. That's that's gonna I think bring us through the S's maybe. Which will be a little little more climbing, that'll get us the rest. There's a little KOM sprint here if anyone's got 
get a little left over? Not me. Got nothing. In fact, we're going to cross this little bridge and have to go up a little bit uphill. Two miles to go, less than two miles officially. I don't think I've ever gone slower on this sprint. Watch out, keep those uh, eyes out on your badges. See how many of those experience points you get for this one. You know in advance, 1440, that's a lot. That is a lot of XP. My quads want nothing to do with this little, uh, this little hill here. Four thousand four hundred and twenty feet of elevation, guys. Forty four miles in the bag. Nice to have a little downhill, huh? Ain't gonna last long, but I'll take it. 1.3 to go. Someone pull us home. I ain't got it. <laughs> See Mickey making a push here. At a certain point, you're just like, I just want it to be over. Good, good choice. I would never be able to cycle to Costco. I always buy too much stuff. I'd have to like, I'd have to hitch a wagon. Pretzel. <laughs> I want all that stuff. I wish I had a pretzel. Less than a mile. Come on. <sighs> Come on, baby. And we are, of course, we're over the miles or the uh, uh, elevation that Zwift Insider said, right? It's always more.
true. That is all true. <laughs> Come on, point three to go. I detached from the music after that uh, after that break. I should have went back to it. Uh. Here is the overpass. You should be getting your badges right here. Marcy out in front. She's like, give me that badge. There it is. And the gate will be right after. 500 feet badge. Woohoo! Congratulations, guys. Well worth it. Awesome job. Give me 1,500 calories and, I don't know, 120 watts. With those brakes, 125. 139. Hey, wow, that's pretty good. Awesome job, guys. Hell of a day. Three and a half hours. That's awesome, guys. That's awesome. All right. I can't talk anymore. I'm done. Let's finish it up here. 1,650 calories. That's what I was looking for. That's a lot of work. A lot of work. Get out of here, Dell. Check out the timeline. You can see our two brakes in there. Climb, climb. Radio tower. Nice job, nice job, really nice job. Let's check out our critical power. But yeah, see, I'm just setting new records here because I have never it looks like, I mean, they, they must have dropped my old ride here. Either that or I just rode harder today. That's good. These are all new. All here is all new records because I haven't really ridden a lot of rides past three hours. Awesome job, guys. I really uh, I enjoyed that. Epic. Hello, little comments. Training stress score, I believe that is. All right. Let's call it a day, guys. Uh, had a great time. Did a really lot of good work there. A lot of good work. And um, awesome to see. Thank you for coming. I want to take a nap. First, I got to eat and shower, probably in reverse order. I don't think anyone wants to stand near me. I'll see you guys tomorrow.